Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're gonna be going through Act 6.3, and this is the first quest. Now, this is my initial clear, and I'm gonna show you the path that I chose that I consider to be the easiest path. And the reason that I say I consider the easiest path is because you may find another path far easier than this one. Uh, you have to evaluate each path based on your roster. All right, so the path that I chose was Biohazard and Clapback. Now I'm bringing in Ghost and she can handle this path very well. You may want to play her with a one hit combo. And the reason that I say that is because every time you hit your opponent, you have a chance to get a bleed debuff. Well, when Ghost phases, she converts all of those debuffs to damage. She gets Fury. Now, what happens if you hit them and then fire off a special? That bleed debuff is gonna be on you for the entire time your special is firing off. All right, so what you wanna do, you don't wanna try to do any you know, five hit combos, because again, you may get hit um, with that bleed debuff, and then all through your combo, you're gonna be bleeding and taking damage. So what you wanna do is phase, medium attack, phase, medium attack. Sometimes I get impatient and I don't do that, but that is the best way to do this. All right, so down goes Invisible Woman. She's not too difficult to fight. Uh, you just have to be careful uh, watching her invisibility. But if you play carefully, you should have no problem. All right, so next up, we're gonna be fighting Ghost. Will the real Ghost please stand up? And she's not difficult to fight. Uh, the computer, I, I was trying to figure it out one time during a stream, why was it so easy to fight Ghost? You know, I would have thought that she would be pretty difficult, but the reason is the computer doesn't know how to take those missed hits like you do. Okay, so basically the AI doesn't know how to play Ghost. So she becomes quite easy, all right? Now, just look at this. See that bleed debuff? That's why I took all that damage. There's not really a lot that I could do there. I got a bleed debuff during the special, it happens, um, but for the most part, you want to hit and phase, hit and phase, to kind of minimize that. All right, so even though Ghost is a great counter for this, you do have to worry about that. And if you mess up a lot, like I often do, you're gonna take a lot of bleed damage uh, that you wouldn't if you just had a bleed immune champion. So you may find it more advantageous to just bring in a bleed immune champion rather than ghost but she can do just fine and if you're comfortable with ghost i do recommend her for this path but there are plenty of champions that can handle this path with no problems whatsoever so if you don't have ghost don't worry about it bring in a bleed immune champion and do not hit into their block now if you have a double immune you have a bleed and poison immune champion, then you're golden. You don't have to worry about anything other than knowing how to fight these champions. And as I scouted out the path, I didn't see any champions that looked too difficult. Uh, so again, you saw there, I got that bleed debuff on me during my special. And so I was bleeding out and it's a vicious bleed uh, all during the uh, special. Now there, I didn't have that happen, so I was good. Uh, so that's the only reason that I would, you know, advise some caution in choosing Ghost. Only for that reason. All right, so next up, we have got Green Goblin. Now, I don't like fighting Green Goblin mainly because of his uh, special two. And on this node, we also have Masochism. Now. Uh, I tried to look at the nodes before I fought uh, so you guys could see each of the nodes, 
because in addition to the clapback and biohazard, each champion has a node specific for them. So like we have masochism to deal with for this green goblin. We didn't have that for ghost uh, earlier. All right. And then you saw there, I just got hit. Uh, don't ask. I'm not going to complain. Just messed up. All right. Now we've got that special two. And thankfully, we were able to handle that. We took a hit at the end, but we're still alive. And you can see I'm just trying to hit him one, one, two, one, one, two, uh, watching for the bleed because I don't want to get too much more bleed damage because it'll take me out. All right, and then here we go. Didn't get a bleed and we took him out. Not the prettiest fight. I'm still not an expert at Ghost, but I can at least use her to get stuff done. All right, so next up we have got Yellow Jacket. And Yellow Jacket, he can give people some problems. And you can see we got Power Sting 3. Okay, now what that means basically is that I'm not going to be able to fire off my specials. All right, so I went in here and I wanted to heal up because I had messed up enough and I wanted to have that little buffer. If you're playing Ghost perfectly, you're not going to be taking any damage, not even chip damage from blocks because you're going to be phased. Well, I don't play Ghost perfectly, so I take damage every once in a while. Uh, sometimes my reflexes and I just do parry because that's how I fight with everybody else for the most part. All right, so you can see here, you got that power sting on you. All right, and so what I'm gonna be doing here, since I don't have my uh, special, you'll notice that I'm fighting a little bit differently. Okay, um, just trying to do as much damage. She can do great damage even without her special. And you see how I evaded that special one. All right, now, the AI will wait until you're just about to come out of phase to fire off their special. And that is so annoying. But as you can see here, all I'm doing is relying on uh, getting that bleed. You saw how I keep getting the bleed debuff on me. Uh, that's another reason why I would uh, do more than one hit on the combo so that I could get those bleeds convert them when I phase, do more damage. Since I don't have my special uh, to do damage, I can do it that way. All right, so you see I'm building up those Furies anyway and doing quite a bit of damage. So this fight, a little bit longer than, you know, some of the other fights, but very, very easy. Uh, if you're using Ghost, no problem. If you're not using Ghost, you want to bring in somebody who can do a lot of damage. And of course, is bleed immune at the very least. So, Yellow Jacket goes down. I run out of energy. But here we are again, back in the saddle. And we're going to be fighting this guy, Doc Ock. And what's the special one? Aggression Armor. So all you need to worry about here, if you're aggressive, you don't have to worry about anything. However, if you play passively, he's going to start building up armors and it's just going to become more and more difficult uh, to get damage. And if you wait too long, you're not going to be doing a lot of damage at all. All right. So you can see here I'm aggressive and Ghost is doing what ghost does all right now here i gotta evade i messed up on that end for some reason i always get clipped on his last one all right but we're back again and we were able to bait out that special one building up to another but we didn't get a chance to fire it off but he goes down pretty easy but again i got hurt uh, i'm also running suicides and Normally, that's not a problem uh, with Ghost. As long as you have the hood synergy, you can phase the recoil damage so you're not taking that out. All right, you see that singularity? 
don't really have to worry too much about that, in my opinion. Uh, but if you know how to fight Modok, Modok is annoying anyway. Okay, so he has that auto block, and you saw that buff up there, that little uh, blue icon. So that's his auto block. Once that's down, you can hit him like normal. So you just have to be aware of that. See how I just hit once, but you want to do the one hit anyway. Now, coming up, you can see I'm taking a lot of damage from the poison. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy looking at Modok and that uh, auto block. All right. And right about here, my computer started uh, acting up a little bit on me. I wasn't sure what was going on, but it was distracting. And you're going to see what happens uh, in the end. All right. So I'm doing OK, not perfectly. And look at that. Almost got taken out right there. All right. And I did get taken out primarily because I got that bleed debuff right when I started my special. Might have been able to take him out, but I was too low. Now, what you're seeing right here, my computer finally just gave up the ghost. And I'm like, okay. So I managed to pause it, switched over to recording it on the iPad itself. But I was tilted, I was distracted, and you see what happened. And I'm just sitting here like, okay, I did that to make sure I was actually recording. Because I'm thinking, wait, the last time this happened, it didn't record. And so my mind was distracted. I was not in the game. My head was not in the game. All right. So almost got the one shot on him. And then that happened. So I'm like, okay, well, I've got plenty of revives. I've got level one revives and level two revives in my overflow. Not too worried about it. But I'm thinking here, what do I want to do? You know, I know I'm going to revive her, but I was wondering if I should revive her later. But then I said, you know what? Uh, we still got to get through this biohazard. So let's just go ahead, revive her, heal her up a little bit. Shouldn't need a whole lot of healing if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing with Ghost, right? So here we are. See that first hit doesn't really do anything. And I wasn't anticipating how that would affect her on biohazard because when you hit him and he blocks you have a chance to get the poison but at the same time you did not hit him so you're not able to phase right away so you're going to be taking that damage i didn't think about that so when you're coming in here if you're using ghost that's something you might want to think about all right so now we're fighting this mysterio enhanced visibility blah 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 you read it uh we're not going to have too much difficulty fighting this particular mysterio there are some other mysterios that we're not going to have fun with at all so the thing to remember that i constantly forget with this mysterio is his special one right after he fires his special one you do not want to attack him at all Unless his helmet is broken, leave him alone. Okay? And you see there, they, you know, got me with the power drain. That's fine. But I'm just trying to get him down. And I'm look, I'm like, man, I just need my, my uh, special two. And now this is your special one. And remember what I said about hitting him? Watch what happens here. Look at this. All of this. Boom. And I'm dead. And he healed all of that damage back up. That is why you do not want to fight him uh, and attack him while he fires off his special one or right after he fires off his special one. Uh, you can read his ability. Uh, I'm not used to fighting him, so I had completely forgotten that. I knew it, forgot it. Uh, sometimes I will attack him after the special one because there's a little bit of time. You know, think of it like magic's limbo, but a little worse. You have a time that if you can kill him within that time, you're fine. But if you don't kill him within that time frame, then you're going to take all the damage that you dealt to him 
and he's going to heal up all the damage that was dealt. All right, so you see here, I'm just backing off. You see that icon? That's how much time you have. All right, now it's gone. Now I can go ahead and attack and not have to worry about it. And if he were to fire off his special one again, I would have had to wait. And all of this, at the same time, I've got to be careful watching for the bleed debuff from the biohazard. So a little bit to keep track of uh, when you're using Ghost here, but still doable. I just don't do very well with Ghost, but I'm getting better. I'm still getting better. <laughs> beggar. I'm still getting better. All right, so next up, we're going to be fighting Black Bolt. Now, Black Bolt, I remember fighting Black Bolt and getting hit with his special three. Not fun. Now, you can see all of the nodes that you have to deal with. This Black Bolt is stacked. Okay, just read the nodes. Aggression, regeneration, limber, that life cycle. Life cycle is probably the one that's going to give you the most trouble. Uh, but I'm familiar with life cycle. So uh, I definitely wanted to heal up. But honestly, if I mess up, I'm just gone. All right. Now, Black Bolt, normally, you can uh, bait out the special one or two, easy to evade. Uh, no problem. Okay. Now, here's how the life cycle works and why the limber is horrible for this node. Uh, you'll notice I'm firing off my heavies. All right. And you see that icon, the blue icon? When I fire off a heavy, see how it's going gray? Each time I fire off a heavy, you'll notice that that gray lasts a longer time. So what you want to do is you want to fire off heavies. Uh, and each time you fire off a heavy, it's going to disable that for a longer period of time. While that is blue, you cannot kill him. Okay, you can only kill him when it's down. And it'll go down for a longer period of time, the more heavies that you fire. And of course, with Limber, he's going to recover from your stuns faster. All right, so you can see there, I did a, a heavy without stunning him. I'm not that good at it. All right. And then he's got this aggression regeneration. So he's healing up. So you've got to be aggressive as well. So there's a lot going on with this black bolt. Okay. So getting him down to, you know, his final health is not too difficult. But all right, here, what you're going to see here, right there, instead of dying, he healed up, all right, and he caught me, all right, and I was looking at the um, the buffs, and I'm just like, oh, man, because that's just so annoying, all right, but I could have gotten the one shot. I really could have just messed up at the end, all right. Wasp is actually an excellent counter for him because as part of her combo, she fires off uh, or she can combo into a heavy. So just watch. Now you saw how he did not die. He healed back up uh, just a little bit. But each time I attack him with a heavy, uh, that gets disabled. The life cycle gets disabled for a longer period of time. All right. And in a minute here, we got him with another heavy. And boom, got him down. So it gets a little tricky, but the more heavies you can hit him with, the easier you will have it. And of course, with limber, you're not going to be able to get your openings as often as you would like. So now we are at the final boss. This is a Medusa. Do you bleed? Which means you have to bleed Got to do a bleed debuff to do any damage whatsoever. So you've got to have a bleed uh, champion in here. And she takes extra damage. You don't want to hit into her block. You, you read the nodes, right? And right there, I'm making sure, once again, that I am recording. The last thing I want is to do this fight and then at the end find out it was not recording. 
All right, so I decided to bring in Symbiote Supreme. Now, Symbiote Supreme, uh, he will eventually, uh, after a special three, I believe, uh, get those bleeds. But for right now, we're just building up. Now, I've heard that Archangel might be a better counter. Okay, now her auto block, you don't have to worry about it because, of course, the AI does not have parry so even though she can get three furies just go ahead and hit into her like you see me doing um don't matter about the living strands it'll be auto block so what but you do have to worry about the explosive personality uh so bear that in mind we also have to deal with buffet so a lot of stuff going on but if you have a symbiote supreme uh, i would recommend bringing him with mystic dispersion i did not have any mystic dispersion uh for this fight i don't run mystic dispersion i'm running suicides and so i just went in here uh, like this but you can see that he's doing a little bit of work all right look at that the damage is starting to ramp up as long as i'm able to be aggressive we can get her okay so you see that we got the auto block and but we're still going. But now we're not doing any damage and we've got to build up to a special three as well. So there may be better options. Uh, I don't know all of the different options, but you want champions that can bleed. All right. So maybe blade Gwenpool, uh, of course, Nick Fury, I think would be an excellent option for this. I do not have a Nick Fury. Uh, in fact, of the champions that I had available to me, uh, ranked up and everything, uh, that's why I chose Symbiote Supreme, uh, especially with the buffet and all of that. And you see, she's unblockable now. And I'm like, oh man, I did not mean to push her to her unblockable. Um, but it's all good until that happens. And that's why I didn't want to push it to her unblockable. Uh, if we could have held out we would have been all right all right so of course i did not bring anyone else that could do this fight it's symbiote supreme or no one uh when i go through exploration i will probably do it a little bit differently i'll bring in archangel i might still bring in uh symbiote supreme it depends on what other path i'm taking but I will more than likely bring in Archangel, even though he's only rank four, I think he would be excellent for this particular uh, fight, especially for Buffet. So yeah, Archangel definitely gonna come in during my exploration. Uh, Symbiote Supreme, he may come in, uh, you know, as backup perhaps. All right, so we're back at it again. But as you can see, she's healing thanks to that uh, buffet and stuff. And I have to build up to a special three. And that's pretty much the fight, honestly. Uh, now, if I had Mystic Dispersion, you can see how much easier this fight would be. It'd be so much faster. Uh, but... I didn't have it. I do have a Mystic Dispersion unlocked up to three. And that's pretty much what I like. The sweet spot, I think, between being too powerful and, and giving you that control. But some people like uh, maxing it out. And for a fight like this, that might be worth it. It might make it uh, just that much easier. Uh, for particular fights, I could see where having maxed out Mystic Dispersion would be um, desirable. Uh, but for me, three is enough. And for this fight, I didn't even have that. All right. So all I'm doing here, of course, is trying to build up. I'm watching that regen. Um, and there we go. We've got our special three, but I don't want to push her. So I wanted to bait that out and then fire off that special three and then go to town because if i did not bait out her special 
I would push it to a special two and that will wreck you quick. Like right here. See, I can't even go as hard as I want. I have to bait out the special and if she does not want to bait. All this is time lost. So I just said, you know what? I'm gonna go in, hit her a few more times. She's unblockable, but the bleeds took her out. So not the prettiest, but we got her done. All right. So that's going to do it guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully this will help you in your initial clear. So take care, click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video and you all have a blessed day.